Hi guys, it's Monica. I'm going to share with you a wig review and this is a wig that was sent to me complimentary from a company called Inner Belzia. I really don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I wanted to share this with you because I think, I mean, this has so much potential and I wanted to show it to you at this point because I just shook it cut the tags off, put it on my head. It does have, I haven't trimmed the lace front, so it does have the lace front that goes down um, probably about maybe, oh, maybe an inch or a little bit less than an inch. So you could kind of trim it if you wanted to, especially if you wanted to shape your hairline a little bit differently. But I wanted you to take a look at this because this is a wig called Sierra, and I have to read to you the color that I have. It is called H16-613, Sierra, and it's considered a light, ash blonde evenly blended with more cooler platinum blonde i'm going to do a spin for you so you can see this is a heat friendly fiber so if you wanted to say manipulate the part move the part you could certainly do that. Heat friendly fibers means that there is a little bit more styling options for you. As you can see, this is a bob style, a layered bob style, which I think for me anyways, it's what I need. Now this may not be the color for me, but I think the style is really, really nice. So it has a mono top, it is heat friendly, it is a layered bob, and again, Inner Belzia. This is a US based company. They've actually been creating and selling wigs since 2012. I have gotten one other piece from them before and I had reviewed that. I'll link it here so you can see. But this is really a pretty piece. Now they don't have a ton unfortunately, of color selections. So I think that might be the most, I think the limitation on some of the pieces is the colors, for me anyways. I would prefer a little bit more of a darker color, but again, I am sharing this so you can see what this looks like. I have a 22 inch circumference. I have cinched this cap in and it is on me big. So I would consider this cap size to be large not average, but more on the larger size. You can probably cinch it in a little bit more than I have cinched it in, but they consider it to be an average. To me, it's a little bit more of a looser fit. Again, this is synthetic heat friendly fibers, which I think is really cool. It does have the extended lace front and it is also, it has a hand tied, it's monofilament has hand tied. Let me just tell you a little bit about the front and the front dimension, eight and a half inches, the sides are seven, so it is layered. The back is nine. The crown is 10.5, and the nape is five. The weight on this is just about four ounces. Now, when I got this, and I'm gonna superimpose uh, a few different shots, but when I received this from Inner Belzia, I'll tell you, I was so impressed. I was impressed with the last wig and the packaging that they had. It's just amazing the way they put this package together. I got a beautiful scarf. The wig came, as you can see in the um, superimposing here, the wig came securely packaged. I got a brush. I got a hair little tiny claw clip that you can pin your hair back on. I even got a little bit of eyeshadow. So eyeshadow, this is sort of browner shades, if you can see it. What I use eyeshadow for a lot of times is to touch up maybe my roots, or if I want to have a little bit of a darker root on the piece if it's non-rooted. So eyeshadow goes a long way to helping make your wig look nice, I think. And I also got this awesome wig, um, wig grip. This is really cool. Really like it. It has the very thin end here, so it's it's not a, um, a full wig grip that goes all the way around. I think these are really cool. It has the parting line, so really awesome package presentation. The little claw clips are adorable. Really, really like it. So let me just tell you, the way, and I'm gonna superimpose their photos because they actually have this styled 
on their website in a couple of different ways. But I could tuck this behind my ears. I could take it and I could layer it. I could pull it up. I could put a clip in. Of course, I'm not seeing what I'm doing, but what I'm trying to just show you is that there are some options here for styling. It is just that type of a perfect length that if you wanted to pin it back in a ponytail, you could. Or in a French twist, you could. Do they still call them a French twist? I think they do. The air tabs have some flexibility, which is really nice, so you can contour them to your head. I'm going to show you the inside of the cap in a moment, but... I just wanted to just see what this looked like. This I think is really pretty. And again, this is not styled. Would I perhaps prefer it darker? Yes. Um, I could also, if I wanted to, I could bring it to my stylist or I could do it myself. I could layer a little bit more if I really wanted to do that. I don't think I'd want to do that with this piece. But sometimes I do pull some of the hair out around my face. And sometimes I trim that a little bit. So this has a ton of styling options, a real ton. And look how it flows. So if you want something a little bit longer that you can pull back. And if you are a blonde, this shade is really pretty. I'm hoping you get to see it. Just really pretty. I'm hoping the camera really picks it up. The funny thing about the camera is you know, oftentimes it really depends on the device you're playing this back on. If you're on your phone, if you're on a big laptop, if you're on a big TV, depends on the settings on your device, whether it's high definition, whatever the ratios are, because it'll look very different on a phone, on an iPad or a tablet, on a big screen. So that's always the real hard thing about, you know, when you're doing talking about colors. So very evenly blended. You can see some of the highlighting. And again, you could darken this if you wanted with some texture. Well, some, um, what I use a lot of times is I use the Batiste, the dark brown. Give it a spray if you wanted. This is not at all shiny, I'll tell you that. Sometimes I get pieces that are super shiny, but heat friendly fibers tend to not be shiny. So the fibers feel really good. I think this is really cute. Great price. They often have specials. You get to check out their website. They've got a number of different styles on there. Again, the drawback, I think, is some of the color choices. They just don't have a ton of different shades. But you might be in luck if you go check it out. I'll link all the information below. I'm going to end with some outside shots. Also, you know, if you have any questions, I will share with you the cap right now so you can see it and then the outside shots. Thanks so much for joining me and I will see you in my next video. You see the extended lace front and the mono. Little bit, tiny, tiny, tiny bit, not very much at all of a little bit of permatease there, which you need for the lift stretchy cap. I do have it cinched in, but there is room to cinch it in a little bit more, so you certainly could do that. Ear tabs, a little bit of flexibility. Fibers are just really nice. So if you have a larger circumference than I do, my 22 inches, this will fit you really, really super nice. A huge thank you to Inner Belzia for sending me Sierra for review. Hope you enjoy the outside shots and natural lighting on a very snowy day. Coming to you from Monica's Beauty and Lifestyle. Thank you so much.